All right, ladies and gentlemen, your next fight is brought to you by JYM Supplement Science and Rickin Excavating. And this professional bout is taking place at 150 pounds for five minute rounds for three rounds. And introducing first out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter with a veteran of 15 fights, coming in at five feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, representing Unified Martial Arts from Antigua, Wisconsin, Danny Soko Sokolowski. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, an MMA practitioner and a veteran of five fights, standing at six feet, one inches tall, and weighing in at 149 pounds, representing Grace Place Elite Edge from Oskaluska, Iowa, David Flying Hawaiian McKinney. And your referee for the action, Tyrone Roberts. Ooh, inside leg kick get, catches the calf of, of Sukolowski. Flying Hawaiian spinning back, back kick again. Ooh, back to the calf. And Sukolov back to the back. head kick. McKinney is just going low high, low high, low high. McKinney's boasting a nine inch height advantage here, and he's really using it off the get go. Head kicks, low kicks. Yeah, those, those, those calf kicks. You saw a little wincing on Sukolowski's face on that last one. Overhand right connects. Oh. I, I'm going to tell you what McKinney's doing. He's taking the back leg of Sukolowski, which is why he switched stances, which is going to take the power away from Sukolowski. He's, he's a, literally he's attacking the back power leg. McKinney marching forward. Sukolowski still having issues with the range. And there is the takedown that McKinney's been looking that Sukolowski has been looking for. This is where you get to know your opponent. Yeah, this this changes everything, taking away that nine inch height advantage. Sukolowski still trying to control McKinney. McKinney. I'm not saying he's, he's you know trying to walk, you know, kind of push himself up. In, in, kind of push himself off against the cage. Sukolowski really doesn't have control here. McKinney is kind of content staying here, too. It's like a stalemate. McKinney back to his back position, looking for an arm bar. Got to suck that arm, and he went the wrong way on the arm bar. Heavy punches by Sukolowski. Sukolowski's making McKinney pay. Sukolowski having issues with the distance. McKinney keeps grabbing a cage. McKinney's got good hip movement, though, and he was fishing the whole time. Sukolowski on the back. I, McKinney looks like he was almost kind of rubbing his eye. Sukolowski just trying to keep that same position, walking along the wall and turning, trying to turn himself into Sukolowski is McKinney. David Lee McKinney sprawling against the cage. Sukolowski continuing to apply pressure. Sukolowski's right under the hips looking to lift. And there is that takedown. Sukolowski two for two on those takedown attempts. Not easy either. Yeah, he's had to work for both of those. You kind of see you know, between the last fight and this fight, the difference between a wrestler takedown and one from a, like a jiu-jitsu per perspective. Yeah, Sugolowski did a really good job of closing that distance and getting his hips inside to get the takedown. Palm strikes to the ear out of McKinney. 
Positioning for legs between McKinney and Sukolowski. M McKinney seems okay to, like he's almost accepting this position. Yeah, he's amazingly calm in a bad position. He seems fine here. I don't know if that's, you know, he's trying to wear the gas tank down on Sukolowski, but he had so much success on his feet. There's no real sense of urgency to try to get back up to it. Left, right, pause by Sukolowski. Still not finding its mark. Sukolowski keeping his hands up. We're going to close that distance, and Sukolowski's having issues with the length of McKinney, but McKinney is, is comfortable in this spot. I don't know if that's set up by design, if he saw something on video. McKinney looks to have another dangerous guard, and Sukolowski's pushing in with a lot of pressure. That can lead you into a quick submission. Pepper and punches. McKinney, no urgency to get off his back. McKinney, with you know just under 40 seconds left, McKinney seems to be okay giving this around away. Repeated elbows by Sukolowski. Sukolowski's really putting in a lot of work. Sukolowski, he got the takedown, and he's he's getting everything he can out of it. Oh my gosh! Uh oh, something up. happened. Something happened. He's oh, hurt. He's second. hurt. There's a kick to the face. I thought. I, I, I think the, I think I think there may be a knee issue. I think that Sukolowski may have blew his knee out. Something definitely happened when McKinney yeah, kicked him away. Yeah, if you look at if you look at the wincing face of Sukolowski, hey. he's still not back to his feet. I believe it's something with the legs, the hip, the knee. Something it went. A, yes, we gotta see that replay. McKinney kicked away, and something must have popped. Something must have tore on Supanowski when he tried to. Here we are. McKinney kicks away. We can't quite there see what happened. It's the knee. Near ankle. It might be the ankle. It, it seems to be on the left leg. We can't quite tell if it's the it's, knee or the ankle. They're looking at his ankle right now. Yep. The left leg. The left ankle seemed to have rolled over. I'll take an ankle over a knee. I'll tell you what, Sukolowski got those takedowns and got everything out of it. He got everything out of those takedowns. He was doing what he needed to to win that round. Just, I mean, it wasn't easy either. I mean, he weathered a, a pretty hard rainstorm coming in too. Like yep. Sukolowski, Sukolowski weathered a lot to get it, and once he got it, he, once he got that takedown, really made McKinney pay. And not taking nothing away from McKinney winning this way, but the way the amount of force he used to keep, kick Supanowski away is what caused this injury. Yes. It's not what he was looking for, but it's what he got. TKO victory. Uh, you know, Sukolowski lives to fight another day. Doesn't take a lot of damage, unfortunately, the damage he did took. He's probably gonna put him on the sidelines for a little bit. Sukolowski wrestler, guarantee. He's got an armor on one shoulder and he's hopping out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's unfortunate, All I was- right, ladies and gentlemen. Your referee, Tyrone Roberts, calls a halt to the action at four minutes and 54 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, David Flying Hawaiian!